Hey everyone, PeepFPV here. Uh, I want to do a tutorial for you guys today on building your own custom splash screens for the rapid fire module uh, for your FPV goggles. Um, this is going to be really simple. We're just going to use Microsoft Paint and some handy websites and uh, we'll have you up and running in no time. So let's get started. All right, so here we are. Uh, I just opened Microsoft Windows Paint. Uh, your computer already has it installed. Should make things super easy. Uh, first thing we want to do is click this button up here at the top that says resize. Uh, we're going to do pixels and we're going to uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Uh, horizontal is going to be 128 pixels and vertical is going to be 64. Go ahead and click OK after you've done that. Uh, you'll see that this is super small now. Uh, if you want to, you can use the magnifier tool that I just clicked up here at the top and zoom in so we can get a bit of a, a better view of what we're looking at here. Um, go ahead and click the fill with color tool, uh, also known as a paint bucket. We're going to have our color one selected as black and go ahead and click and fill it in. Uh, what this does, if you know what rapid fire looks like when you start it up, it's black and it has white text over the top. So we are mimicking that. Um, it's the only colors that it accepts. So we'll go ahead and stay with that. So first off, we have it black. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is, uh, let's say uh, we wanna do a, a cool text that says goofy, okay? Uh, so first off, I'm gonna open up a browser and go to this website. Let's go back to the start here. Uh, it's called defont.com. I will leave a link in the video description. Uh, on this site, there's all these different themes of different kinds of fonts that you can work with. Um, there's, I mean, there's crazy kinds of stuff. There's elvish fonts. I mean, uh, there's alien stuff. If you wanna put some of these alien things on yours, you know, you do whatever you want. It's, it's totally up to you. Uh, before this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and choose cartoon category. And in this first little box above the fonts, you can see preview. Type your text here. So we'll go ahead and type goofy. And I'm going to click submit. So what this will do is it'll take all those fonts that were listed there and let you see a preview of what text you want to see in that font before you even have to download it. I really like that feature. I think it's really useful. Um, so we're on here. We have all these fonts to choose from. Some of them look pretty cool, uh, whatever. So I kind of like this one called Grow Bold. Uh, it's just, it looks cool for saying goofy. I don't know. Uh, so we can go ahead over here, click download. Uh, you can open it up with any kind of file manager. And go ahead and double click on that .ttf file. It might also be a .otf, and that's totally fine. Go ahead and double click it to open up this uh, font window. And at the top here, you're going to click Install. So I've already installed this one in my setup for the tutorial. Uh, you won't get this. It'll just install. This window will go away. I'll just say yes. It'll go away just like this. And when that install button is no longer clickable at the top, you're good to go. You can go ahead and close this. Uh, so let's go back to paint now. And we're gonna want our text to be white on top of this. So color one, if you have it selected at the top, you can go ahead and click one of these white squares um, and that'll set your color to white. And with the text button, we'll make a nice big text window um, we'll choose font size, but just for now, we'll say it's at 18 and I'm going to type goofy. This is another font right now, but that one that we just installed, uh, is something that's now available in our font list. So if we go up here and we scroll down to our G's, here is our grow bold font that we just installed. Um, we are going to need to select this first, select it. Go ahead, scroll down, select Grow Bold. Okay, so there it is. Looks just like it does here. 
on the website, uh, which is pretty cool. And we'll select it, and we're also going to make it bigger because we want it to fill up as much of the screen as we can. Uh, so let's see, 26, 28, 36. Ah, 36 was a little big. So we can just manually change this. Uh, let's say 33. Okay. Um, that's pretty centered and everything. I think that looks pretty good. So we can go ahead and click outside of that box that we just made. And it's going to make it suddenly really blurry. And you're going to be like, what the hell? What's going on? Why does it look like crap? Don't worry about that. Uh, we have this zoomed in a lot. So actually, if you go back to your uh, magnifier tool and right click, back down until it's clear again, that's the actual resolution that we're working with. That's the size of your screen. Um, and that's how it's going to look. So I'll go ahead and that's all we had to do. Go ahead, file, save as. We'll choose PNG and save this as goofy.png, save. I already saved it, but you'll go ahead and just save it as goofy PNG or whatever, uh, depending on what you've done. So that's saved, that's done, super easy. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is make sure that we have the rapid fire updater tool installed. Um, this is also gonna take care of managing uh, your firmware updates. So if you haven't updated a rapid fire firmware before, you may get something better now, um, which is totally an extra bonus. So I'll leave the link for this in the description below as well. This is the Immersion RC website with the rapid fire uh, product page. If you scroll down to the bottom of this page, you can select a tab that says firmware slash downloads. Under here, we're gonna choose utility software and install the rapid fire updater, whatever the latest version is for Windows. Um, once you have that done, we'll move on to actually plugging your rapid fire in to your computer. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I just wanna show you guys, we've got our micro USB cable plugged in here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our rapid fire module and hold down this button on the front. And while holding that down, go ahead and plug in your module. Uh, you should probably hear something in Windows uh, that tells you that it got connected. And then we'll go ahead to the next step. Now we're all plugged in. We have the rapid fire updater installed on our computers. Um, you'll want to open this application after you've plugged in, so make sure you're doing this in the correct order. Go ahead and open up Rapid Fire Updater. Um, so right now, my Rapid Fire was most recently flashed with an image for my name, Peep. Uh, before this tutorial, I'll show it with our new goofy splash screen. So at the bottom, you'll see it looking like this to begin with. You're just going to click on that uh, Rapid Fire logo. It's gonna bring you to an open thing. Navigate to wherever you saved that PNG file that we just created. And I'm gonna to go to Goofy. And go ahead and click open. All right, so we have that selected here. Custom splash screens taken care of. Uh, up here next to Flash Firmware, you're also gonna see a list of firmware versions. If you're not on the latest, Choose the latest one. If you feel like going to a beta version, go ahead, turn beta on, select the latest one there. Um, for stability, I recommend not going with the beta version. It's not guaranteed to work 100% and most likely is not supported. So our latest version is V1.2.6. We'll have that selected there. And I'm gonna go ahead and click Flash Firmware. It's doing a little bit of stuff. You can see that we got a progress bar moving. And just give it a sec. It's going to tell you programming successful. Uh, at this point, you can unplug your rapid fire from the USB cord that you have it connected to. All right, we've plugged it back in. 
I've put the casing back on. Uh, let's see, my battery. Got your Fat Shark battery, whatever you're using. What you'll see when you plug it in is that brand new splash screen that we just created in plain and simple Microsoft Paint. It looks cool. We could have used a way cooler font. You can do all kinds of stuff, uh, anything you want. And uh, yeah, have fun with it. That's the most important thing. Uh, be able to show it off to your friends. Do whatever you want. You know, enjoy the hobby. Put funny shit on there. <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you guys for joining me for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And I'll see you guys next time.